This was day seven of the coronavirus quarantine pandemic. I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Welcome yeah, to my quarantine morning. vlog. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. I know times are tough right now, but I wanted to vlog for you all because I really haven't vlogged in a while. And two, I think it's really important to remember to check on people that you love during this weird, isolated, self-quarantine time. And that means you guys, because I love you guys a lot. You mean a lot to me. I sort of wanted to have an open discussion in the comments below. If you want to talk about how you're doing, what's going on in your life, Life, how you're feeling mentally physically leave it in the comments below so hi I'm Kaylee if you're new here you're probably not the last couple days I've been vlogging and I wanted to show you guys what life was like for me. I am currently self quarantining. This is my second week doing it. I didn't want to be complicit in all this and I really wanted to not only take care of myself, the people around me, but for the people out there who are immunocompromised, our elders, people who can't really protect themselves. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are vlogging. I wanted to vlog because I don't know, I feel like these times are really weird and we sort of need to stick together, especially us YouTube community people and try to bring maybe as much relief because <laughs> I'm a gift. That's what it is, I'm a gift. <laughs> oh my God, so I was watching Love is Blind and some guy was like, I wanna be your gift, like proposing to somebody in like the pods if you've seen Love is Blind. I am your gift. So I've been saying, I'm a gift. <laughs> so currently we have a situation. Don't know if you can see, you probably can't see from here, but my roommate Anna has bees and they've swarmed. So let's flash back to a few weeks ago when the big swarm happened. Swarming is the reproduction of a honeybee colony and it occurs when an existing colony subdivides into two colonies. If the hive becomes overcrowded, resources will be scarce and the colony's health will begin to decline. It usually happens every spring and to prevent swarming, beekeepers usually add larger hives, which my roommate did just a few days prior. But since the swarm was so massive and there were literally thousands of bees, there wasn't nearly enough space. It was such a beautiful day that day and the weather was so nice. So we sometimes leave our patio door open. I look up from doing work and I see like four or five bees like like flying around I'm like what the fuck so I tell my roommate and we go out and that's when we discovered the hive they were coming into our house to look for another place to live so you're probably asking what exactly happens in a swarm the queen and about 50 to 60 percent of her offspring will leave the hive when they leave the hive tens of thousands of bees will stream out of the hive together they will leave the hive and temporarily move to an interim location they basically ball up in a nearby space which is usually like a tree right above the hive or near the hive while scouter bees go off to find a new place to live it literally looks like a humongous hive but it's just all the bees in one like round basketball looking thing pretty scary though i won't lie like i think i hear residual <laughs> I think I hear residual buzzing in my ear catching swarms is usually pretty simple usually you go up to them wherever they're at and flick them right off into a box but because the swarm was about 20 feet in a tree, we didn't have a ladder that was tall enough, so we had to call in a bee colleague of my roommates that had proper equipment. So basically, you just have to catch the ball of bees out of the tree and then stick them back into the hive. I was able to watch the whole process of catching the swarm about 50 feet away on our top balcony. That beekeeper man was able to restore all of my roommate's population, and she was able to add a new hive for those bees. However, <laughs> so here's a fun fact about bees. They don't respond well to like dark colors or like large masses of like brown or black because bitch, they think you're a bear trying to get their honey. Open up, bitch. <laughs> so I was out there with my woolly mammoth ass hair and a damn bee just goes <laughs> right into my head and it just gets lost in my hair and I can feel it like moving around. I start screaming. Meanwhile, my roommate, my roommate's dad and the beekeeper are all down there because guess what, bitch? This is not the first time it has happened to me. Bees have gotten stuck in my hair before. All right, I'm admitting it. I ran back in the house and I started stripping all my clothes off. I'm like, maybe that'll help. My titties were out. I really hope he didn't see my titties. That would have been real bad. I'm like, oh my God, bitch, this is not happening. So this all brings us to today. Apparently, swarming happens multiple times in the spring season if the colony is strong enough because a second swarm happened. And this time my roommate said, fuck it. And called the Atlanta Metropolitan Beekeeper Society. And they came and took care of it because it was once again so high up in our neighbor's tree. We 
didn't have room for a third hive in our yard. But that's okay because a couple days later, we were able to look inside both the hives and they looked really, really healthy. By the way, my roommate's name is Anna. So if I'm referring to Anna, it's my roommate. You probably got that by now. I know some people who do this thing where when they're talking about people, they'll just say their first name and they won't actually say like who the fuck these people are. So when I'm having a conversation with some of the people I know who do this and they're referencing all these people, I'm like, bitch, who? Are you talking about cuz I don't know and I'm not gonna sit here and try to guess so I'm just gonna be like huh cuz I know people who straight up think you know everyone they know and they are not conscious of the fact that when they're talking about people they gotta like give some context as to who these people are does that make any sense I'm rambling bitch it's the quarantine anyways all I do is Animal Crossing and eat so after this whole bee situation, I had a project I had to edit and that took most of the night my hair is so greasy you guys like I literally don't think I've washed it in a week, but I just got finished with a client project and I thought I had to do two projects, but I only need to do one. And it's seven o'clock right now. I feel like I haven't really vlogged much, so this might continue to tomorrow. But once this video project gets uploaded and I send it to them, I think I'm gonna head out to the porch and play some Animal Crossing on my Switch. So yeah, it's just me and Waffy Pie tonight. I have leftovers to eat. My lips look big though. Does that look better? I look just as greasy. Anyways. Yes, baby. That's what we doing. <laughs> I just tried to jump up and like show my ass at the same time. Wait, I'm gonna, I don't think that's like possible to do. Is this against the, the YouTube guidelines, even though I'm 24? Old bitch alert. Oh, jeez, God. Cheers to you and yours. So I've been playing Animal Crossing for like an hour now. Say hi to my vlog. We're playing um, Animal Crossing together and I'm about to eat some leftovers from last night. Yeah, I'm about to head to the airport, gonna go do some traveling. Also, look at my face right now on Animal Crossing. I look busted. It's cause I got stung by a wasp. All right everyone and one, two, three. <laughs> Not only did I just mess up my groin, but <laughs> I think I just broke a tile. Anyways, I was rummaging through the pantry looking for something sweet, and I found this. It's a maple shortbread mix from Trader Joe's. I don't even know how long it's been in there, but yeah, I thought it would be fun. We can like bake together, maybe. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm seeing the words electric mixer on this, and it's just not. <laughs> this is a lot of work. I just tried to learn a TikTok dance and that shit was the most cringy thing I've ever done, I think. I have rhythm, all right? I got rhythm. However, my body doesn't have rhythm. <laughs> like, hold on, watch. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking with Kaylee. <laughs> you guys, I want you to rate my goofy impression. Ready? Gorsh. I'm really confused how this is working though. <laughs> We're gonna make pancakes. <laughs> Bro, should I make pancakes? So here we have some pancake mix. We're gonna scratch that other idea. This is how to make a pancake with me. So I'm gonna need an egg. This is an egg. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. I did it! When you're wifey material, should I put this bar of chocolate? Should this go in here? Yes! This is what cold, this is what being a chef looks like. So yeah, I just found this chocolate bar in the pantry that had like two ants on it, but honestly it's fine. I don't really care. Oh, that's a big boy. They're looking good! Ready? We're about to pop this big boy. Boom. We making pancakes in this house with peanut butter. I'm gonna refrain from eating them because I just wanna, you know, pick them up, but... Oh, fuck that hoe up. Can't forget the wine! <laughs> Excuse 
exquisite, immaculate, show stopping. So for this last pancake, I think I'm gonna do a big one. Mostly because I'm sick of standing here. Let's see if we can flip it. <gasps> God. I mean the girth. Bees in the Trap by Nicki Minaj. You wanna know what's going on? But look at that glimy, glucy, glucy. Look at that gooey, ooey, booey, pooey. We're gonna go ahead and try our babies. Mm. Stopping beautiful, wonderful, beautiful, brilliant, never seen before, never done before. I'm the first person on this earth to make pancakes. Thank you and good night. All suited up, ready to go. be all for this vlog if you want me to continue vlogging please make sure to leave it in the comments below 